Hey guys, Angelo Christian. I want to come to you and talk today about 2019 is, is fast coming upon us and we talk about people and their New Year's resolution. A lot of people, they fail to actually realize their resolution and their goals. You know, 2018 is coming to an end and a lot of people always ask me, Angelo, how do you set your goals? How did you become so successful with your life? You know, because if you know my story, it wasn't always so great. You see today the current Angelo Christian that built an eight-figure company, multi-millionaire, and has a beautiful family, great life, but it wasn't always like this. You know, 15 years ago for me, my life was a complete disaster. All right, I don't know how much you know about me or my story, but today my mission is to serve you guys, give you inspiration, give you hope for 2019 so you can change your life and have lasting change for the rest of your life because that's what it's about to me. That's my mission and my purpose to help people to rise and ascend, to reach the highest level of their life, to have success and thrive and be the best version that they can and get everything that they want out of their life. You know, for me, when I was 17 years old, I was morbidly obese. I weighed over 400 pounds. I had a heart attack. I was poor, broken, homeless. My father left me and my, my four brothers and my sisters on the streets of Houston with nothing. I dropped out of school in the sixth grade. I hated to read, I hated to learn, I had no future, I was destined for doom or death, I had nothing, nothing to look forward to. All right, people, kids picked on me and beat me up, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And all of a sudden my father leaves us and I got four baby brothers and sisters, my mom, and my mom just has a, a high school education, she's a waitress at Olive Garden making $1400 a month. She looks to me as the father to take care of the family, right? So I go and I take on three jobs to help to take care of the family, working as hard as I can, and I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know where I'm going with my life. I hate work, I, I'm blaming my mom, I'm upset, all right? And then our car got repossessed, we're living in a hotel, and I have to start walking to work every single day, seven miles, and I weigh 400 pounds, and I can barely move. This was my life, guys. This was who, where I was when I was you know, 17 years old, right? My father left when I was 14 years old. I dropped out of school. I had no future, right? So my point for saying, telling you all this is that if I can change, you guys can change. And that's the message for today, to have lasting change. But you have to follow a systematic process. There's a formula in order to realize those results. You're not going to stumble upon greatness. You're not going to stumble upon success. You're not going to stumble upon just happiness. You have to, there's a, there's a formula, there's a study. You have to work towards it, right? So that's what I want to talk to you to show you what I've done in my life, right? To get to where I was, to where I'm at, because that's my message to everyone out there today. If I can change, you can change. And I know it can happen. I know that miracle can happen. It doesn't matter where you came from. Your past doesn't equal your future. We do not live our life in a rear view mirror. Just because you were destined to be something doesn't mean you have to be that way. If you're not happy, you can change it, guys. And that's the message and why I'm here, why God put me on this earth is to come to you to talk to you about transformation, about change in your life. That you don't have to accept who you are. If you're not happy with that, you can change it, all right? But there is a process. I wanna talk about what I had to go through, the metamorphosis to get from where I was to where I'm at today, all right? Because I, I use this strategy and I want you guys to practice it, to use it too. So I'm gonna go right into it and break it down for me so you guys can actually use it because that's what it's about. Most people, when they set up these goals, it only goes you know, for 2019, 2018, 2017. Did you accomplish all the goals that you set out in 2018 and 2017 and 2016? Did you hit your mission? Did you hit your target? Most people don't. They, have, they write it down on a piece of paper and then they forget about it a week later. You see that at the gym all the time. First two weeks at the gym, the gym's packed. After that, it dies off, right? Hey, I made all these goals. Right? I want to be rich, I want to be successful, I want to start a charity, I want to build a multi-billion dollar company, and then boom, what happens? Opposition, and nothing, you, never, you don't realize anything, right? So I don't want that to happen to you, I want you to have lasting change for the rest of your life. Just like I was able to keep off the weight, I went from broke to rich, you guys can do that too, right? So the, the thing that I want to go over this process now with you is the first thing that you have to do is you have to find out who are you? Who is Angelo Christian? Who am I? So we have to discover your identity, all right? Because identity drives behavior. Identity is like the thermostat on the wall, on your wall. That's, you have to know who are you, all right? For me, 
For me to tell you what my identity was, I always tell myself every single day when I wake up, I am Angelo Christian. I'm a lean, powerful, successful billionaire, investor, entrepreneur, put on this earth to transform people, to help them reach the highest version of themselves, to help people to change, to help millions of people. And I tell myself that every single day because that identity that I embody is driving my behavior, how I act, how I talk to people, how I treat people, that I am fearless and I am courageous. See, I do that incantation to fire up my body, to give me the power, the strength, right? Because you're not going to just stumble upon this. You have to step into it, all right? And you have to find out who are you consciously with your identity. Your identity is going to determine everything about you. Most people, and for me, for most of my life, I had no idea what my identity was. We were just about to get up and eat and watch TV and no future. You have to become conscious with your identity is what I'm telling you. Because your identity is going to determine everything about you. That's what my identity is. I'm here to put on this earth to help people to rise, transcend. Through all the companies that I own, everything that I do is to transform lives, to help it to inspire people. Use my life as an example to inspire you guys out there. That's why I'm here today, to come and give you this message for 2019. The first step in change, lasting change, is discovering and expanding your identity, right? From here, you have to find out what is your purpose. And that's tied in with your identity. Why are you here? Why are you here? What are you supposed to be doing? These are the things that I'm supposed to be doing here with my purpose in my life, is to help people to inspire them to transform, to change lives. Through my, through my mortgage banking, our commercial lending, our real estate lending, through real estate university, teaching people how to become a top producer with real estate. Right? I just wrote a book called Real Estate Boss, I'm sorry, how to instantly make millions with real estate. We give ownership, equity, entrepreneurs an opportunity to own their own bank. So if you come and work with me, you, get, you have your own chance. Nobody ever gave me equity or stock in a company. Through our company, we give young, hungry, successful people that want that chance, that opportunity to own something. That's what, that's what we're about, is helping people get to the next level so they can have uncapped income, they can own part of a bank, and not have to take on all the risk and deal with all the issues and tens of millions of dollars that it takes in the uphill battle to actually become an owner. Because I want to help people. That's what my mission is. And I realize that if for me to get everything that I want out of life, I have to help others accomplish their dreams and their goals. And that's my mission with my team, my family, and everyone. You know, My daughter, her dream is to be a Disney Imagineer. I'm helping her to get through Rice University to be, so she can become that Disney Imagineer. My son Carter, his dream is to be a professional baseball player for the Houston Astros. So that's what my vision is to help them, my team, to have them earn six and seven figures to own their own bank, to build out their own branch. You know, that's my vision to help all my team, right? So you have to know what is your purpose? Why are you here, right? So after you find out you have your identity, you have your purpose, then you have your vision. What is the grand vision? What is that? Because see, the vision is what is, that's what's going to pull you out of the bed. That's the juice. That's what makes life exciting. That's what makes life fun. You have to have a beautiful vision of your life. You know, the car that you're driving, the house that you're living in, the people that you're hanging around with, right? How your company looks, how your body looks. For me, I had this vision of this lean, sexy athlete, you know, wearing awesome suits, you know, walking down the, you know, walking down the, you know, in Las Vegas with my beautiful wife and going to the best restaurants and hanging out with people. You know, I started my charity, Angelo Christian Foundation. I had my vision, I want to start this foundation, no child left behind helping all the children I can to rise and ascend. You know, I had this vision, I own all these companies, real estate, banking, right? And that you have to have that exciting, I had this vision, I was gonna have a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, you know, a Koenigsegg. A Koenigsegg is a $2 million car, you know? I had this dream I was gonna have a G-Wagon, I had a dream that I was gonna have a Rolex one day, and it all started to show up in my life. You have to have a compelling vision, you know, that, that gets you juiced out of bed. So you just, when you wake up, you're pulled out of the bed, you want to fly. You know, so you're, not, you're not having to push yourself out of the bed. You know, sometimes I go on two or three hours of sleep. I know it's crazy, but I have so much energy and passion towards what I'm going after. I'm so hungry for what I'm doing and that vision. So you have to have a, a, a beautiful vision that's going to make life so exciting and so fun. It can be as big as you want it to be. I have, I have visions and dreams that I have a $50 million home, you know, in Palm Beach, Florida and I have a $20 million home here in Houston, and I have a $10 million log, log cabin. I have a dream that everyone on my team is gonna, be, I'm gonna make them millionaires at the bank. 
right? And I have them be successful and they can achieve all their, I have a, a vision that I'm gonna spend in Hawaii, my daughter's wedding with my team and our, and our, our company retreats in Hawaii and I pay for it all. To fly down them, them there and their wives, their family and everything. That's my vision, to take the company public and give that equity, that stock to my team, to have an employee owned company, right? That those are the visions that I see in my mind. So you have to have a fun, exciting, a compelling vision for your future. I can't tell you how important. Then, after the vision, then you have the goals. See, this is the process, the systematic process that we've gone through. So you have the identity, your purpose, your vision, and then you're gonna set your goals, your one-year goals, your three-year goals, your five-year goals, your 10-year goals, and these goals will change along the way, right? They're, they're not to be set in stone, but you have these goals that are set up for one year, three years, five years, 10 years. You need to have this as a blueprint. It's like the blueprint, you know, a map, a road map to get from here to uh, Los Angeles. You have a map, you need goals, you have to have a blueprint. That's what the goals are there for. Now, more important than the goals, and I did a shoot on this the other day, you check out my Instagram, you have to have extremely powerful reasons that are gonna drive you. The reasons are more important than the goals, guys. You have to have very, very powerful reasons that push you through because you're gonna have opposition. You know, just like in any great movie, you look at Star Wars, you look at Lord of the Rings, yet they have a desire, right? The protagonist has a desire, and then boom, all of a sudden there's internal issues, external drama, all this opposition, all these things that happen. We're trying to move our office right now and there's external, internal drama, things that are happening, right? We're trying to go, we want to go for the desire, the goal, go to the next level. And oh, this has happened with the movers, this has happened, that, 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 all the time. But you have to have reasons that are pushing you to plow down like a tank through that wall. And they have to be very, very powerful reasons. For me, the vision was I couldn't be obese and die of a heart attack. I got to see my daughter graduate at Rice University. Helena, Helena's graduation, Helena's graduation. I got to see Carter playing for the Houston Astros. I cannot die. I got to take care of myself, get my fat butt up, and get on that treadmill and work out. You better not eat a whole case of donuts and, and go eat through two boxes of pizza. You don't need to eat like that. Eat right, okay? Take care of yourself. You have to see them through to their, to their vision. I have to see my team uh, open up their own branch bank locations. Right? I have to see that we help a thousand people through Angelo Christian Foundation. That through my bank, we lend over to 10 million people in the course of my lifetime. That we transfer and rise through Real Estate University. In the next 10 years is to help 20,000 students graduate to become top producers. Right? I have to realize these things. And I also, I don't want to go back to where I came from. If you saw what I looked like, I was 400 pounds, I had boobs out to here. I had rolls and rolls and rolls. I wore, a, all my clothes were tailor made. Or I couldn't even fit in department, department store clothing. I had a 56 inch waist. Okay, do you know how big that is? Okay, I couldn't even walk through a door, I had to go sideways. Right, I hid in public. I was extremely introverted and shy and scared. I couldn't tell anybody anything. I was so scared of the world and hide. I was in hiding for most of my life. And I wasn't gonna go back to that. And I refuse to go back to that. And I, ha I have those pictures in my mind still to this day. And I refuse to go back to that life. So you have to have those reasons. You're not gonna go back and you're not gonna die of a heart attack. You're never gonna look like that again. That's why I get up and I'm not tired. Even if it's cold outside, I'm getting out there, I'm going to run. I'm getting on that treadmill, I don't care how you feel. We are the authority of our emotions. We are the authority of how we feel, all right? And this is a very, very important thing. You have to come up with very powerful reasons because the goal is not strong enough when push comes to shove is what I'm telling you. You have to have powerful reasons that are gonna change you to compel you. They're gonna push you through. because There's gonna be a ton of drama that comes after you. If you want anything great out of life, expect hostility, expect objections. They are coming for you, whether you like it or not. After those strong reasons are made, you have to create the habits the daily habits, every single day, the daily disciplines of getting up and exercising, eating right, making the phone calls, having the meetings, right, scheduling the video shoots. You have to create the right habits because that's what we all, in the end, that's what we are. We are a function of our habits, right? You know, Warren Buffett talks about that the chains of habit, they're too light to be felt until they're too heavy to be broken. So we have to make the right habits, guys. That's what makes everything. So this is the, the overarching theme here. 
I want you to see the step-by-step, -step, the layers here to create lasting change and have a beautiful life. To have the life that you dream about, uh, you know, everything that you want to have that great life, this is the process. You have to find out your identity, your purpose, your vision, your goals, your reasons, and then create the right habits. See, all these things are all interconnected. The reasons uphold the goals, right? And then you have the habits. That's what's creating you to get to that vision. You have to do daily things every single day to get to that. So you have to create the right habits in order to get there. It's so very, very important that you create the, the right rituals, the daily routine, everything that you need to do to make sure that you're in alignment. Then you have to check and make sure, am I in alignment with, that, with my purpose, with my identity? Are these habits that I've done over here, are they in alignment with my overall arching theme, my identity, my vision? And if they're not, you have to get rid of them. Always do, you always have to do this examination of yourself to make sure that these habits that you're doing, that they're in line with your identity. Okay, it's so very, very important because if it's not, you have to quickly change it. Don't sit on it and then you become that. Right, that's why it's so very important to influence. You have to be very careful where you're putting yourself, right? The people, the, the social media, the music, the TV, all these things are always influencing you all the time. And what ends up happening is if you create the wrong habits, they can be a destruction like me with my obesity, right, or being broke, having the wrong habits, hanging around the wrong people, doing drugs and all kinds of crazy things, right? So you want to make sure that you're doing the, the habits are right. And if you follow this formula, guys, I'm telling you, your life, this is how my life changed. How I went from morbidly obese and dead, basically, and broke to where I'm at today. So this is the process that I went through and, and how I've created lasting change. Why I never put the weight back on, right? Why I never went broke again. Because I created this formula, this system. So I'm bringing it to you now before we hit 2019 so you can use this and have lasting change for the rest of your life. Because that's why I'm here. My mission and my purpose is to inspire you to use my life as an example to change your life for transformation. We're all needed to go through a meta metamorphosis to go to the next level, okay? There's always another version. Just like there's an, always an upgrade of the iPhone, there's another version of you just waiting out there to go to the next level. Where you're at right now, there's a step up. There's a step up for me too. I'm not satisfied where I'm at. I'm happy and I'm grateful that I'm alive and I'm healthy and I have a beautiful family, but I wanna go to the next level, right? And that's why I'm here to help you to rise and ascend so you, you can become the greatest version of yourself. So you can have that beautiful life. You can do anything that you want to do in your life. And I'm a firm believer of that. If you see how where I'm at today and where I was when I was 18 years old, okay, in just 18 years what I've been able to do, you can totally do this. And that's my message for you guys today for 2019 when you're setting up your resolutions. We need to have lasting change. It's not just about a day or two and then you go back to where you were before because you don't want it, you don't want that in your life. And I know you don't but it's very hard to fight it, I know. I fought in addictions all my whole life. I've had an addictive personality my whole life, but you can change it. You can take control of your life and have a beautiful life and everything that you want. If you wanna drive that Lamborghini, you wanna wear that suit, you wanna be married to that beautiful person, you wanna start a charity, you wanna build a team, you can have all those things. If you wanna travel the world, you can have the money. If you grew up poor, you grew up in a bad family, a bad environment, you can change all of these things, guys. You have to change this first. This has to get fixed. And once you fix this, everything else will be fixed. And this is the process to follow. So let's make 2019 great. Let's accomplish all your dreams and your goals. Follow this form. If I can help you in anything, reach out to Coach Angelo. I want to help you to transform your life. If there's stuff down there below, you can call me or text me or email me. I love to help you in any way I can. I help companies, I help individuals, I help teams to rise and ascend. I want to help you take your life to the next level. Like I said, there's also gonna be a link down there to my book, Real Estate Boss, if you wanna become an owner and entrepreneur in our bank. Also, we're doing an event this year. I'd love to have you at our event in 2019 so I can actually shake your hand, meet you in person, and talk to you and see if there's any way I can help you. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for checking me out. Again, follow your dreams, live with passion, max out, make the most of yourself. Thank you guys so much. Take care and peace out. Bye-bye, Angelo Christian.